Welcome to part two of this tutorial which will take you through creating a turbidity meter with the microbit. In this second part we're going to change our code so that the numbers make more sense to us as humans. So let's get started. I'm going to create a new version which will make the turbidity values go between 1 and 10 rather than 6 and 706. Just going to control copy that. I'm going to go home, new, I'm going to call it advanced turbidity. Now I should be able to just control V and up comes my original code. And now I want to change it. So I'm going to go to maths and there is this block of code that says map zero from low zero high 1023 to low zero high four. That's the one I want, and I'm going to change this line. So I'm going to map turbidity from low of, it was around 6, so let's make it 5. The high was around 7, 10, to a low of 1, and a high of, let's put this code into the micro bit. So I'm connected to the micro bit, I can just download. The download is complete. Now because I don't want any decimal points I need to just change my code a little bit so that I get just the rounding of those numbers. So here's round and I'm going to put all of this inside and then drop it back in. So now it should give me just numbers without decimal points. Download complete. So if I go back to my three liquids that I've already tested, um, plug the micro bit in and check what values I now get. Let's see what happens. Place my sensor into the estuary water again. I now get a value of six. Place my demineralized water in. I get a value of 10. Place my sensor into the milk. I get a value of one. So I have three other types of liquid. I've got Pepsi, I've got seawater, and I've got water from a puddle. So I place my sensor into the puddle, being careful not to put the whole thing in. I get a value of five. Wash that out. Put into the seawater. I get a value of eight. Wash that out. And what do you think it's going to be for the Pepsi? Let's place it in and see. I get a value of 9. So we have taken our turbidity sensor and we have created a turbidity meter with it combined with a micro bit. And we have made the values something which we can understand. A simple system between 1 and 10 rather than the very large numbers that we were getting when we initially tested. That's the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon.